Hello students, I am Muhammad Kamran Halil from YouTube channel The Physics Guru. Today we will discuss what is the purpose of the micrometers cube watch and how we can take the reading and what are the different type of the zero errors. So micrometers cube watch that this is the instrument which we will discuss today. It is used to find the, the basic purpose of the micrometer is to find the diameter of a very thin wires. Diameter of thin wires. And uh, we can also find the diameter of the other very tiny objects. Uh, the accuracy of the or the least count of the micrometer is 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.001 centimeter. But normally we will take this reading. The reason the scale of the micrometer is given in the millimeter. The range of the micrometer is from 0 up to 25 millimeter. So if the object is greater than this range, we will not able to measure the reading. Now there are two scales. The this one scale which I am pointing right now, this, this scale is the scale which is called as the sleeve scale. So I will represent this scale as the sleeve scale. Sleeve scale. The other reading is represented by this one that is called as a thimble scale. Thimble scale and then the total reading of micrometer will be equal to the sum of the sleeve scale reading plus thimble scale reading is the total reading. The first thing that how can we find the reading by this diagram. So in this diagram we will observe that the reading on the micrometer is 15, then 16, then 17, 18, 19 and 20. Now you can see this half line. So if I will encircle this, this half line will be read as 15.5. Similarly, this is uh, 16, 17, 18, it will become 19.5. Now I have to observe this sleeve scale reading, it is 20. It is 21, it is 21.5 and it is 22. Now this reading because I can't see the half line after this one. So the main scale reading for this will be 22.0 millimeter which is the sleeve scale reading. Now this line on which this scale is engraved, this one line, this line is called as the bottom line bottom line now what we have to do we have to observe that in front of the bottom line what will be this reading for the thimble scale so this is 30 this is 31 this is 32 this is 33 so this reading will be 33 now what is the next step you will multiply 33 by its least count which was 0 0.01 so the answer will be 0 0.33 millimeter and now how can we find the total reading this one is the sleeve scale reading and this one is a thimble scale reading so what we will do now we will add them so 22.0 and then 0 0.33. So the answer will be 22.33 and again the unit will be millimeter. So do not forget to write down the unit. So what is the purpose? Once again, repeat, I will repeat this. First of all, you will find the sleeve scale reading. Then you will find the thimble scale reading. Whatever the number you will get over here, multiply it by the its LC, least count. You will get the answer and then add this answer into the final reading. So thimble square reading and the 
sleeve scale reading will give you the total answer. Now the diagram number two. So what is the main scale reading? Now this is a scale in a different way. The half in graduation is also on the main scale on the dotted line. So this is five, and then I can see the half line. So the main scale reading will be five point five millimeter. And now this line, this line was thirty, and in front of bottom line it is thirty one. So it will become zero point three one millimeter. And then the total answer will be five point eight one millimeter. Now the diagram number three. In the diagram number three, we will observe that it is four, and it is clearly four point five. So the reading is 4.5 millimeter, and then again it is 30, and then it is 31. So it will become 0.31, 0.31 millimeter. So the answer will be 4.81 millimeter. The next diagram. In the next diagram, we can observe it is five, then it is six, then it is six point five, five, five point five, six, and then it is six point five. So the reading is six point five millimeter. Now this is line number fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So this line, which is in front of the bottom line, is line number eighteen. So when we will multiply it by the least count, so it will become zero point one. Eight millimeter. So the answer will be six point six eight millimeter. So this diagram, the main scale reading is again five, six, seven, and now I can see the very small line. It means half graduation. So five, five point five, six, six point five, seven, and seven point five. So main scale reading will be seven point five millimeter. And now it is twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. The line in front of the datum line is twenty-four, so it will become zero point two four. Now the answer for this question is seven point seven four millimeter. Again, the other diagram. So it is five point five, as you can observe from this diagram. It is five point five, and then uh, line number thirty, so it will become zero point. Three zero after multiplying thirty by its LC least count, so five point eight zero millimeter will be the answer. Another question. Now it is five, six, seven. It is seven point five because we can observe the half line very clearly. So it is seven point five. Now line number twenty, line number twenty one, line number twenty two. This is line number twenty two. It will become zero point two two, so it will seven point seven two millimeter. Now always remember one thing that performing this experiment, you are required to find the zero error. Zero error, zero error is in the instrument due to many reasons. Now maybe due to the manufacturing fault, there is a zero error. Or maybe with the passage of time, if you are not handling the apparatus carefully, you will get error. And what is the zero error? We have not placed an object inside the jaws of the micrometer, but still you are getting some reading. It means that this instrument will not give you a correct reading. So there will be some zero error in the instrument. So zero error. How you will define the zero error? That this is the error in which, without placing any object, if we will find a reading. Whether it is positive error or negative error, it is called as a zero error. Now let's see the diagram number one. In this diagram, we can observe that before placing the object, the bottom line, the sleeve scale on which the engraved, and the bottom line is in front of the thimble scale zero. When these two will be coincide with each other, when they will in a same line of action. Then we will say that there is no zero error. Now there are two possibilities with respect to this instrument. Whether this zero will move up or whether this zero will move down. 
So now how can we define the positive error and how can we define the negative error? Now look at this diagram. Before placing an object, this is the bottom line. And you can see that zero is not in front of the bottom line. It is one line above. So it is still giving us a reading. So one multiplied by 0.01. So it will give you the least count of 0.01. Millimeter, and remember that this error is the positive zero error. What is the reason? Because it is all already crossed the reading zero. It is showing one. So it is positive zero error. Now, what for? What we will do the for the correction? This error is giving us the extra extra reading. So for the correction, what we will do? First, we will find the reading of this after placing the object zero, one, two, three, and four. So main square reading is 4.0 and uh, 25, 29, 0.29. So now the reading will be 0.29 and then the answer will be 4.29. So after placing an object, I got this reading 4.29. Now in order to do the correction, what I will do? I will subtract the positive error which was 0.01, 0.01 from this reading because it was giving me the extra so always remember that positive errors will be always subtracted so 9 1 goes 8 then it will become 2 and it will become 4 so the answer correct answer will be 4.28 millimeter now in this reading you can observe very clearly that will lock it so it will not move from its place now now you can observe that this is a bottom line and zero is not below this bottom line zero is above this bottom line so how many lines the zero have shifted in upper direction line one line two and line number three so three lines have moved upper direction and the error will be now 3 into 0 0.01 so it will become 0 0.03 now this error is a negative 0 error so we will write down the negative sign for with millimeter now the reading 0 1 2 2.5 we will write down the 2.5 millimeter and then 35 36 37 0 0.37 millimeter 0 0.37 millimeter so answer will become 2.87 millimeter now this is the reading which i got from the same micrometer this reading was less because the error was the negative so for the correction correction for the negative error will be always positive it means that 2.87 and then we will add the zero added 0 0.03 7, 8, 9, 10, 8, 9. So the correct answer will be 2.90 millimeter. I hope that now you have good understanding that how can we use the micrometer, what are the zero errors, and how can we do the correction. My next lecture will be on the animation. How to find the reading by using the animation. Take care, stay blessed. Bye bye.